Okay, you guys, um, so this is the hair that I'm using. Um, it's Afro Kinky. I've had this um, for a while now. I've used it and I'm about to use it again. The thing with me is that if I buy something that is worth 90 Rand, I just can't use it once and then get rid of it, especially when it's um, braiding hair like this. When it's um, things like darling, expression you know that yucky braid type of thing of course it's understandable when you use it once but i don't understand why you would just get rid of this you know so if it's clean you can use it again um i'm probably going to have this hairstyle for just like two weeks or something i just want my hair to be in a protective style right now before i actually braid it um reason being i'm not ready to do the hairstyle that i want to do <laughs> So with the blended hair that I did initially, I hope you watched that video. If you didn't, go watch that video so you can learn how to stretch your own hair as well as blend your fiber. Um, yeah, so in this video, I'm going to be doing twists, afro twists basically. So I'm just attaching this to my own hair. I'll probably start by twisting my own hair and then add an on or I will, I'll figure it out along the way. But yeah, this is all I'm using and I hope it's going to be enough let us begin okay so i already washed my hair i'm just going to section my hair into different um different parts and stuff so the thing is i always start with the back okay so i'm just going to make a line the thing is i rarely use a mirror to see the lines that i'm making so I always just cross my fingers, hoping that the lines are straight. Okay, so I am using this molding gel. So this is all I'm doing. to braid the base like that and then twist this is what I do all the time you guys once I have my strand like that I'm now going to take the hair right in the middle I'm just going to place it down like that and then braid. And then start twisting. you guys so these are the results it's it looks like a distressed look and that's what i'm going for i want something that looks a little bit rough okay let me show you guys in the front funny thing is uh, okay i don't know if it's even a funny thing i learned how to twist um in the anti-clockwise direction so naturally i do um distressed locks uh, distressed twists and not the proper neat ones because i taught myself to twist but then i taught myself to twist in the opposite direction than most people do anyways so i just start braiding the way I would normally do and then I just twist like that I don't even know what 
which side I'm twisting right now. It's very confusing um, when I'm twisting my hair because I never know which direction I'm actually going or which way I should be going, you know? And that always produces a different kind of twist. So with this one, I'm not even sure what kind of twist I am producing, if I'm being honest. Um, but we'll see once I actually stop braiding. Stop twisting, sorry. See, this one came out neat. <laughs> it's so strange. It's really so strange. Um, do I want them to be this neat or do I want them to be rough? You see, that's where the confusion comes in because you can either have this type of twist or have this type of twist. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know which one I'm feeling more, to be honest. I'll just go with the flow. I have done this much. I'm left with only eight. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it. Okay, so this is how much I'm left with. Exactly eight portions. <laughs> Risky. And this is it you guys i love the final look and i feel like i did a pretty good job with keeping the meat and everything so yeah guys this is my afro kinky twists um i hope you guys love the results as much as i do i just love the fact that it's very lightweight it's really lightweight it feels like my hair so that is a 10. oh sorry that is a plus <laughs> I don't know why I said that is a 10. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to thumbs it up and come back for more videos. And yeah. Otherwise, I am so satisfied. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure to do so at mcm underscore muya. And come back for more videos. Okay. Bye. For real this time.